You can also add effects to individual layers in multi-track editor. In order to do that, you can go to multi-track editor right here. And on the left side, you can see that under the effects channel right here. So over here, if you were to go into other option, you don't see effects, but under effect channel, you can see that there are effect options, just like the effects rack we used in last, um, uh, uh, last lesson. In order to access this, you can simply go over here and pull the effects rack down, as you can see right here, or you can optionally hold Alt and then use the scroll mouse button to expand all of them. And once I want to add in some effect, let's see how that sounds now. So if I want to add in some effect right here, I can simply go over here and then go for noise reduction or reverb or whatever I want to add in. So I'm just going to add in a studio reverb right here with a Lars a reverb, really reverb, reverb, reverb right there. So let's see how that sounds. That's a bit of a change right there. So I'm just going to double click and then change the room ambience, uh, something like a great hall. All right. So that's much more echoish, uh, just like that. I want to add in another effect, simply go over here. And then I'm going to go into some delay right there. And let us see how that sounds. All right. So let me just close that down. And you can see that uh, you can hear out the effect. Uh, and the good thing about this is these are all non-destructive effect. You cannot actually add in a destructive effect right here. In order to do that, you have to double click, go into the single editor to add in some destructive effect. If you really have a heavy file, then you want to depend on destructive effect. But usually, uh, try not to do that as long as your processing power supports it. So you can see that you can enable and dis uh, disable this. So if I were to disable the studio reverb, let me just play that out. Only the delay is there, and if I were to enable the studio reverb, only that is there, and I can enable both as well. So that is how you can apply effects in a multi-track editor inside of Adobe Audition. Hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.